Hello guys, this is Julia and today in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to convert from MBR to GPT. So if your computer is UEFI capable in your BIOS and you'd like to convert it, then this tutorial will show you how. And was, this is the first time I've tried this. So I guess we'll see if it works because my computer is normally UEFI, but because I did a Windows 7 challenge back in, um, I did one in August and I did one in November because there was a, there was a challenge and I got seven in the one in November. So that's why I had MBR and I just never had a chance to fix it. So, um, I found this article and this is built into windows as long as you have windows 10 creators update or higher. So if you have creators update, fall creators update, um, April 2018 update or October 2018 update or insider, you can do this. Now um, to check what version you have, Windows key and the letter R, type Winver, push enter. Um, I, ha I have version 1809, which is the October 2018 update, so it will work. So if you have 1703, 1709, 1803, or 1809, you can do this. If you don't, then you, you need to update, and I'll leave a link in the description to the Windows 10 download page, which I recommend updating to the latest update if you haven't already, which you can use the Windows 10 Update Assistant. Just click the link and click update this PC now and follow the instructions, and it'll guide you through the process, because versions do lose support, which is why I recommend being on the latest. This is the, even the latest dot number, which is dot .292 as of January 24th, 2019. Anyways, enough with that. We are gonna do this. So to check to see if your disk is MBR, um, right click the start menu and go to disk management. When you're in disk management, you can see it's disk zero. That's gonna be important. Make sure you locate what disk it is. You're gonna right click it, click properties, and then you're going to click volumes. And then if it says partition style, master boot record MBR, then it is an MBR disk. And we're gonna convert this to a GPT disk. Now, I don't know if this is gonna go very wrong. I guess we'll find out, but it should be fine. And obviously make sure your computer is UEFI capable before doing this, because if you do this um, and you go in your BIOS and there's no UEFI option, your install is not gonna boot up anymore because it would have to be in UEFI. So be sure your computer is UEFI capable before doing this, or if you accidentally reinstalled in MBR and you want to switch it to UEFI, this is what you do. So what we're going to do is now that we know that, we are going to run an add in CMD like it says, and we're going to do a command. So I don't know why it's not showing um, the Windows thing at the top. That's kind of weird, but um, yeah, it's not showing the thing at the top. Actually, let me go fix that. It looks kind of weird. All right, so I fixed it to add that back because I think one of my friends did that, but um, there's this command you're gonna do first, which is to validate to see if you can convert it or not. So it is mbr2gpt slash validate slash disk colon zero for my case, and it should be zero for you too. And then allow full OS and you're going to do that command to validate and you can see that it's successful it do, it's not giving an error and if it's not giving an error that means you can indeed convert it successfully so now if we actually want to convert it all we do is we change validate to convert so we're going to just push the up arrow because it gives us back the thing and you do that and then this will convert our disk. Oh, I didn't want to type two of those. I don't know why it did that. Maybe because I pushed the arrow too far. We're gonna click enter. And it is converting the disk. So just let it do its thing. It is installing the boot files. There we go. Um, now, it says, before the new system can boot properly, you need to switch the firmware to boot to UEFI mode. So that means you have to go in your BIOS Every computer has a different BIOS key, and if you don't do this, literally your computer will not boot up if you restart. It's not gonna work. You have to actually go in the BIOS and change it. 
um, you'll probably get some kind of boot air if you try to boot um, Legacy when you're in UEFI. So um, I'm going to stop the video so that I can record on my phone and I can show you guys how to do that on my HP laptop. So. All right, so I have my computer, which you guys know I have this TV set up with my mouse and keyboard. I'm gonna have to open up the laptop because it doesn't display output on the TV at startup. It only displays on this screen. So for my laptop to boot in the BIOS, it's F10. So we are going to go to the start menu, which I might need to move this a little. We're gonna go to the arrow and we're gonna click restart. From there, my computer will reboot, which I accidentally dropped my thing. F10 will be the BIOS key to boot in the BIOS. You're gonna spam it. We want, oh boy. Okay, no, I don't wanna exit saving changes. You're going to go to system configuration, I believe. Boot options. And See legacy support, we're going to disable. And then Secure Boot got enabled. So UEFI is now enabled because we disabled legacy, which is what you need to do. So we have Secure Boot enabled, legacy disabled. And if this works properly, when we boot the computer, we should be in UEFI and we are going to confirm that. So we're gonna save the changes. So F10, exit saving changes, and let's see if it boots. I hope it does, I've never done this before. And would you look at that? There's the HP logo. That means that we have successfully converted it because it's showing the manufacturer logo instead of the regular Windows logo. So yay, we converted it without having to reinstall Windows. So isn't that great? So now that it's booted, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna jump back on the computer. Okay, so we are back and we are going to check our disk management again and see if it says UEFI. So we are going to right click this, we're going to go to properties and we're gonna move this over and we're gonna click volumes and you can see we are now on GPT, which is indeed UEFI. So we have converted our disk from MBR to GPT and it was successful. So it shows another drive over here, so I'm guessing that it puts another partition. Yeah, system reserved is being shown now for whatever odd reason. I, I, I think it was because we converted the disk and it may not be using this anymore, but we'll see if we can even open it. Yeah, we can. I don't, I don't know if it's using this drive or not, but I'm just gonna leave it be. It's not hurting anything. But obviously I wouldn't do anything with it, I'd just leave it be if you get that drive, just to be on the safe side, so... Anyways guys, thanks for watching, that is how you convert from MBR to GPT in Windows 10, as long as you're running um, Windows 10 CU or higher, which I recommend being always up to date, because security and features, but... Pretty much, that's all I have. Thanks for watching, hopefully this helps you guys, and bye bye for now.